the truth. Okay, so we're changing it up a little bit. Where we I get snack crates every month. And this month, today we're gonna be reviewing a snack crate from none other than Poland. So we are <laughs> it's already been eight. So we got some Tarpsy. Tarsy. If that's focusing, you're a great cameraman. Tapsy. We're eating Tapsy. And. The description is in the thing, honey. Uh, these savory potato snacks are made with the surprisingly delicious combination of cheese and onion flavor. Okay, let's take our first bite. They're stale. They're stale. They're not stale. That's actually how the chip is supposed to be, apparently. Stale. The, it's the texture. It's how it's supposed the to be. The texture, it tastes like dried up, like... Not dried up. Cardboard. But the flavor... I'm eating a homeless man house. <laughs> What's the flavor like, though? It honestly doesn't taste like onions at all. Show them the chip itself. I can I can see how it tastes like cheese. But the probably thickness. can't really see the cheesy powder. The thickness of it. I think that's why it yeah. makes it taste kind of uh, stale. Stale. And not only that, but they put like a lot of air in it. Mm. That's great. I'm not eating no more. So good or bad? Thumbs up, thumbs down. On the food scale. <laughs> Stop! On the food scale. <laughs> I give it a 4 out of 10. Um, it's disgusting. Because it tastes stale. It doesn't taste like onions at all. But it tastes cheesy. It tastes a little cheesy. Let's move on. Olza Prince Polo. Okay. Where is this? Okay. The Polish... F the Yeah, pop... Polish? The, the Polish favorite features layers of crunchy wafer sandwich together with chocolate cream, then coated in with milk chocolate. Okay. It smells like marshmallows covered with chocolate. Show it to him. Oh. Can you smell it? I think it smells like marshmallow. Can you smell <laughs> it? What? What? It blurred out. Do a cross section show. Ah. Hmm. Pan over. Hmm. It tastes like marshmallows with a lot of dark chocolate. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it has wafers. Um, I think it's a bunch of wafers. 
<laughs> with marshmallows covered with dark chocolate on the is it on, good on the food scale I'm getting there <clears throat> I give it food scale Stop I give it, it. <laughs> on the food scale I give it I give it a 7 out of 10. No, a 6.8 out of 10. Because it's really dry. And other than that, it just tastes good. Okay. So let's move on. There's no way to pronounce this. Is that the same? Pyrenex Surs. You're going, hang on. You're going to heart this classic Polish uh, gingerbread treat made from a recipe over 700 years old. A simply timeless recipe. Ugh. Okay, so it looks like a frosted over, like, Pop-Tart. No, Pop-Tart. <laughs> smells like cinnamon. It smells like a gingerbread house. Hmm. Sugary. It's... It tastes good. That would be a treat I would eat every day. On the on the on the good food scale, I give that a 10 out of 10. It's the texture is very smooth. Um it's frosted over like a frosted glazed donut, my bad. Not frosted. It's like a pop tart like a, I don't know if they make cinnamon pop tarts, but if they did, it would be that and glazed. Let's move on. <clears throat> okay, we have. What is this? <laughs> Kupayak waffle rhizome. Yeah. Crispy rice waffles coated in a layer of. Decadent Belgian milk chocolate. A sweet mix of crunch and chocolate. Personally, I don't really like rice. But if it's chocolate, I, I might. It, it's like a rice crispy. A rice cake? A rice cake. Okay. Let's take a bite. There goes the moisture in mouth. <laughs> I. Wow, this is just so. So disgusting. I don't like it. Okay. If. <clears throat> If you like rice cakes and you like chocolate, this is the one for you. I like chocolate. I do not like rice cakes, so this is not for me. On the on the good food scale, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. The only reason why is because the chocolate on the top. Let's move on. Aha. Ah, yes. Aha. Okay. So, aha. With an exclamation mark at the end. Sesamki. Sesame. Sesame, it has a K in it. Oh, well, yeah, no, but read underneath it. Find your own aha moment with this delicious... I'm going to say that now, aha moment. With this deliciously sweet snack bar made with sesame seeds. Give me it. Rude. Okay. 
So I think they went to McDonald's, ordered a bunch of Big Macs, took the sesame seeds off, and then they kind of made it all hard and stick together to like this sesame wafer seeds. form, huh? Sesame seeds. I know, that's what I said. Sesame seeds from a Big Mac. <sighs> Question. It's hard. You can have the elevator. Huh? You can have the elevator if you want. Okay. I'm going to take one more it? bite. Did you want more of the rice cake? No. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay. I think that ha this has honey in it. It tastes like there's honey in it. You kind of can't really tell at the bottom. But if you look at the top, oops. If you look at the top, it kind of looks like it's glazed over with honey. Um. Probably sesame oil. Sesame oil. That that's a thing, I guess. It tastes good. Very crunchy. If you have a loose tooth, this is the thing for you. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like it. On the goodness scale, I, 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 on the goodness scale, I give it an eight point eight out of ten because the it tastes like honey. Okay, I there was some technical difficulties. <laughs> my camera messed up when it fell because someone don't know how to make it to where the camera won't fall because they just need to learn the physics of gravity so let's move on once again the what's it called the the the, the, the lolly rainbow okay let's just jump into it so Ooh, i can tell him. the neon cat it came out of them i'll show it to him See how thin it is and everything? Hmm. It's supposed to be sour. Not really that sour for Let's me. Finish it. It. It tastes fruity. And it tastes flavorful. Definitely does not my. It doesn't make my lips pucker, though. So, I'm going to report this for false advertising, and I'm suing. <laughs> but other than that, on the delicious scale, or good food scale, whatever I called it. So, uh, uh, 6 out of 10. It's sour, which I like sour. It tastes like rainbowy I mean not rainbowy it tastes flavorful with like fruity and yeah it's good I just don't really like the texture of it I've never ate a worm but that's probably what it feels like to taste that the 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 zazoli the the zuzulali rainbow okay let's move on this. Oh, oh, Princess Zebra. Layers of rich chocolate wafer sandwich together with sweet milk cream. A perfect combination of milk and chocolate in every bite. Put up. So it kind of looks like an ice cream sandwich on the front of it, but it's kind of like layered. Like there's like it looks like three of them. So. It's, it looks like a wafer. There's a bite taken out of it. Let's not worry about that. <laughs> and if you can see in between it, it looks like they may have put some toothpaste, which I hope it's minty because I like minty stuff, so. Ooh. I like it. If you ever tried those chocolate wafers, this is exactly what it tastes like. Except there's like cream filling 
Which is not really a difference with that. I don't taste yeah. what it's Try supposed it to taste like. So. But it tastes pretty much exactly like those chocolate wafers. Okay. Let's move on. You didn't do a fruit scale, did you? Huh? Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, food scale. I, I give that a 10 out of 10. Well... I'll give that an 8.7 out of 10. The reason because is because the cream filling, it kind of makes the texture all weird. And it's kind of, it tastes cold in your mouth. So, 8 point whatever I said out of 10. Let's move on. That'll be uh, for the last one. Yeah. Let me just... Stop it. Stop the it. The fart won't come out. Okay, oh, let's move dude, on. Oh, dude, no. Mm. Okay. Let's move on. So, what is... Uh, okay. Palooski be gone. Huh? Crunchy... I don't know. Crunchy pretzel sticks infused with delicious bacon flavor. The perfect a common, uh, a common appointment <laughs> to a cold glass of... Accommodation. Zy Week. Zy week Zy week Zy I okay. So this might be a good treat for your dog because it's bacon flavored. Open this for me, please. Thank assistant. you. Open it, assistant. I cannot. If you want me to hold your camera. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna fall over and break again. So that's so, why I'm just holding it now. I'm gonna have another bite of this chocolate wafer. Come on, assistant. So, in the meantime, chocolatey. I'm just going back to this. It's chocolatey. I like it. Okay. Bacon flavored pretzels in stick form. Okay. So let's take a bite. Whoa. It tastes like bacon. It's like they put real bacon in a pretzel. No, though. It, it, it tastes like real bacon. I like it. I like bacon. But I don't like pretzels. But this makes me like pretzels more. So... This makes me like these kind of pretzels because I like bacon, but I don't like pretzels. But that mixed together, it tastes pretty good. So, interesting treat to give to your dog, I bet. Um, so, on the good scale, tastes like real bacon mixed in with pretzels and the same thing. So... I don't know if I should rate this of how it's really supposed to taste or of how good it tastes. Of how good it tastes, you know, I'll do both. So, of how good it tastes, it tastes like exactly real bacon. And, like, it, it just tastes good. <laughs> My dog tried to bite. it. She likes it. And to sleep she goes. Okay. <laughs> So, I think she likes it. But anyways, so of the, the good taste in the scale, I would give this a 8, eight out of 10. Um, in, the, in the scale for um, how these are actually supposed to taste, that's a 10 out of 10. It tastes exactly like bacon and pretzels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. We have another fresh fruity. This is the... Oh, wait, no. This is different. Lime, uh, peaches, and pineapple. Oranges, raspberries. Okay, yeah. I think it's the same thing, though. Same color and everything. Let me just take a bite. It smells the exact same. It's the same thing. Ooh. 
Is it multicolored? I don't no. like it. I don't like it. It's different colors. It's the same as it's the same exact rating and everything as I had the last time for the gummy same gummy uh for the wow well fresh and fruity. So I don't like those. They just don't taste good. Is that the last thing? Huh? Is that the last one? No. This is the last one, yes. And we have a little surprise for the end. So Oh yeah, uh, show this. My bad. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, where is it? Okay. Uh, Jessiki Classic, a crunchy cookie bar coated with caramel, crispy rice, and dipped in chocolate. Uh, we've included either classic or coconut flavors. Oh, I did coconut. Yep, this is coconut. And I love coconut. I've never tried the coconut milk, which I do want to try sometime. But okay, I'm guessing these are peanuts. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it tastes good. Tastes a little bit like marshmallow. It, it, it definitely tastes like coconuts, and I love coconut. So, yeah, tastes like coconut shavings. Wait, hey, hey, hey I want to do that. It tastes like coconut shavings and a lot of chocolate. Those don't really taste like any peanuts. I don't think those are peanuts now. I don't know what those are. Crunchies. But definitely the chocolate, all that stuff. So, on the good scale, on the good delicious scale, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it tastes delicious, okay? It tastes like coconuts. Pull one out from Miami, and this is what you'll get. Dipped in with chocolate. It's great. I give that a 10 out of 10. And now, we have a... A soda from Poland. A Orizonda Originality Smack. <laughs> this bubbly orange flavored soda is a, uh, a favorite of all ages. Throughout Poland, its slogan, which translates to You praise someone you do not know your own, is derived from the work of Polish writer Stains Law Jakowicz. I'm just going to put that as John Wicks for short. I don't know. Ah, yeah, that was not a pop. <clears throat> Let's taste the smack. Whoa. <laughs> I like it. It's very, it tastes very carbonated. And it tastes orangey. Kind of tastes a little bit like Fanta and Sprite mixed together, maybe? I want another drink. No, you're giving me another drink, assistant. Give me it, assistant. <clears throat> <laughs> I pay you for a reason. Mm. I, I, hey, I like the taste of this. It's orange, carbonated, everything like that. So, on the goodness scale, I feel like I'm going to have some stomach pains later. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Gets me hydrated. It it has the mix of what I think kind of tastes like a little bit of oranges, yes. Maybe Sprite and Fanta, maybe Mountain Dew all mixed together, kind of, but extra carbonated. And kind of like a Red Bull, but soda y more than the Red Bull, but more soda soda y. You heard it here first, uh, first folks. So. Mineral water. Okay. So, that's about it. 
Um, this was from Poland. And now we got a mess on this table here. Um, <coughs> everything here, for the most part, was pretty good. I like it. And if you, if, if we get more snack crates and you want to see more, let me know. Because I like this stuff. I like eating and getting obese. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I should I should make a class for it of how to get obese. And I could bring in a snack crate every day. So that's it for today. Um uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ooh. Ooh. Remember that name. Ooh. 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 Ufer. Ufer gang, Ufer gang, Ufer gang, Ufer gang, Ufer gang, Ufer gang, Ufer gang. Spend two Robux on a new chain. My auto don't like that new item. I use the code to get a gun. I like your code Robux, Ufer bun. I'd rather go buy.